Hi, John Wanawa here. It's Sunday today, the 31st of July 2016. Um, I'm just going to ring my friend Kingy Toto and see if I can get him. Um, oops. Oh, Kingy, John, one hour here. Um, I'll give you a call later on or tomorrow. Just a uh, catch up, quick catch up with what's happening. My, my barrister's coming back on the 4th from overseas. That's where he's been. That's why I haven't been able to get him. I think he's trying to find out how to do this case. I hope he's got any, something good because I'm just going to tell him what to do to take that land. Uh, so I'm just working on that now. I've got all our things at the East Coast all, all finished. I'm just waiting for a hui down there now for the landowners on that block. Uh, it's all on my Facebook and, um, and some new developments there we're proposing to do. Um, and I've done all the plans for that. Um, just wait for the hui. They're taking a long time to make their minds up. They're slow. Uh, but um, I'm alright. Uh, Pleased to do. Okay. I'll catch you today or tomorrow. Okay. See ya. Yeah, that's my mate. He doesn't work on a Sunday like me. Every day. Every day is a work day for me. Um, i got to keep moving because it takes a lot to put all this together. And I want to get it right. Uh, there's no time to make mistakes with Moai now, close to um, the inevitable uh, with Hillary Clinton and Obama coming to a grinding hole and that will take John Key out too at the same time here. So they'll all get caught in the fraud because they've got a law unto themselves and they're using this flag of Admiralty to, that's the only flag and the only law, the king's law, that can go above any other law apart from God's law, the Moai law. Okay, so um, Kingy, that's him. I want to get on to, straight on to Shannon Withers now. Uh, my barrister is coming back on Thursday from overseas. I'm guessing that he's been away, um, probably sorting out how to deal with a case like this. A crown case and a king's case versus a queen's case in the courts. Now there's a big problem he has with the Bar Association um, and the police operating their own law against the Bar Association. That's a real no-no uh, that's happening with the federal state's abuse of law and the police state abuse of law. You can see that happening in America, with the police now being a uh, law and army on its own. Um, and I noticed yesterday, one of the police was wearing an eight-point star badge of this flag, an eight-point star of St. Patrick's Order. Now, the Queen is giving him that authority, or those sheriffs, uh, that are arresting anybody now. And that is the only law that supersedes any law, anything with eight points, not six points, not seven points, but eight points. It's a King's order through the St. Patrick's order and King William III. Rescued King and rescued St. Patrick's from the Catholic Church. And the Pope um, took it from the Queen gave it back to the Pope, not in the formal manner 
but by signing it over in a mortgage document under this flag, it's the only mortgage flag you can do that in contracts. We're talking straight contracts here. And the barrister is in a contract with me to do as I say under a King's Authority surrogate order. So he has to follow my instructions to the word, to the law, law of this land and the law of this flag. Okay, two separate laws, the land laws of New Zealand and the land laws of England. Okay, the land laws of England prevail over the land laws of New Zealand and the King um, versus the Queen that's not there. So there's a number of things, I've written down some of them, I'm just going to say what they are, that I'll be talking to the barrister about. So he's in a catch situation as far as breaking laws and who's breaking them um, here uh, between me and the police and the land owners on that land block. I want them locked up. I want a counter claim against each person, not the police, not New Zealand police, not anything that's not real, but somebody that injured me personally, one on one. That's what the Pope took away his laws, the canon law, the courier law, the civil law, the UCC law, and the admiralty law of the sea and law of the land. He took it away because there's too much corruption. And he thought by taking it away, the corruption would stop. No, if they're still using that law in violation against us, the contractor to that law from King William to put those laws together, for mortgage bank loans, this way is the only authority that can supersede Obama and the Queen and those out of order federal state government officials. So they've got a thing or two coming to them. Now this is what I wrote down, uh, mount, make a counterclaim, I'm going to make a counterclaim against Natalie Flower D. Brown, detective, criminal officer that's in the Solomon Islands that whisked away and hidden right out of sight from the media and from me. Now, she's supposed to be back in the court. That was since January this year, 2016. It's taken right up till now and right up to 4th of August and no Natalie in the court facing me and the judge. The judge says I get full disclosure. I've only got half disclosure here in this letter, half disclosure from the police, the in bit, not the middle bit, that I'm wanting the birth certificate and the bonds to who, which person are they talking about? John Wanawa, the mayor, real? Or the fictitious John Wanawa, the capital letters person that they're using that trust to take money out of my account that is being set up mysteriously. That's what I want to disclose to you people watching this video. I'm a model for everyone else who's caught up in the same system. I have the right under the King's authority and our chiefs, the first party to the British government and military and King William IV, King William III, King Ernest Augustus I and King George III, the father of those two and King Ernest Augustus V living in London, the inherent king of Britain, UK, Hanover, uh, Altair, New Zealand, Pacific Islands, and the world for that matter. So now I'm making a counterclaim against Natalie Crowdy Brown um, because she constructed all the legal documents, and that's in violation of the Bar Association in America for a police to be using its own staff to make documents to arrest me or anyone else that has no seal on it of a bar association lawyer or barrister. None, none whatsoever. Just police logo on their documents and her signing it. Liable. She's liable. Everyone that's signed and picked up that bond and the bail bond and made the money for themselves to pay themselves out of that bond without telling me 
who is John Wanoa in capitals? Show me that person. I want to see that person in the court. With her, that's fashion, those documents. She wrote them. She changed all the witnesses' names and put them into legalese, capital letters. And they didn't do that. They don't know how to do that. So she's caught up with me as being liable for what I say as the King surrogate. And the chiefs have endorsed my position with this flag on the Waitangi Marae Key King's Bench Court. We opened on the 15th of March 2016. That's with Chief Kingi Tauru, and he represents the Taumata on his Titi Marae, and that is his land that Ship of Admiralty of King William IV is on to Britain. So now Brexit comes into the equation here of land titles, land laws. We still have express permission to use. 1830-1837 Acts of Westminster Parliament, only us, the native, can do that with Britain. Okay, so that's separate from John Key and his Queen, that's not there. Above the judge's head, that's the other issue I've got problems with, the, their authority and jurisdiction of who. Who is the seal that's running the court, and who is that lady above their heads? That's, what, that's the other issue I've got, the authority and sovereignty of who. I have the sovereignty here of a king, and that's my position with the lands here, returns, stolen returns. If there's fraud on it, and it's our business to investigate fraud, then I'm using the barrister on his side to straighten his lot out or to arrest them. I want him to arrest everyone I name and build them. That's my business of building them, but I would just want the land back from his court, the Auckland District Court. I want him to apply for uh, a writ of execution to seize the land and all their belongings, all their, to defray the costs as a consequence of fraud and covering up the fraud with the police and the lawyers. The conveyancing lawyers are in trouble as well for not putting our names on the title. So here we go. Um, we get the Bar Association involved, um, get the Admiralty Law and the Land Laws Acts out. Okay, these are things I've got ready for uh, my barrister. He's got to be as good as what I know about our own native lands. We're obligated to British government to administer our lands in cases of fraud and corruption where we need to know what's going on. We have to know as the landlord. They haven't bought the land out. That's the John Key's government has no chance of settling any lands now that he's been kicked off to Timorai. He has to get consent from there before he can do anything. The TPPA is a threat against our national um, uh, national investment interests in land and its administration of for our benefit and we're not getting any of that justice from his government and his authorities. So the treaty is a fraud, the 1840 treaty on the Titi Marae grounds is a fraud because that contract has no end date. It's no end date and that's illegal must have an end date, you must give it back when it expires in its state that they got it in. That's the same as what I'm saying about our land, um, eroded and ruined because of clear fouling, slash and burn, and put cows and sheep on. The cows and sheep that made a lot of money out of the trees, the natural resources, but left our land in a mess. They're going to have to fix it and rebuild them. We'll build, we'll fix it with the British military and build them. Build everybody involved on the Queen side of the ledger. The levy on the Queen side is levy debtor. The creditor is the King and the Hapu. The Iwi Maori is John Key's invention of Maryland titles is on that side. 
of the ledger is data. The hapu, Maui hapu, is the King William creditor, King William IV creditor, and sheriff, administrators of the native lands. So that's the difference between the Maori and the Moa. You, you one or the other. You one or the other. You can stay Maori, you go with the debt. You get the bill. Okay? This side can build that side. Um, so uh, there's an argument, it's in court. Fiat money is a fraud. The fiat money is being created from the pound note in the Bank of England is a fraud. Created US dollar out of the pound note, then multiplied its uh, value, and that's a fraud. Uh, birth certificates, bonds are fraud, that's what I'm saying. These are issues I got with the, the barrister, he has to come clean with these. The Pope destroyed all of his laws, so that's another problem he has. No Queen seal on the court, there's no Queen seal from Westminster because she's not in Westminster. She's in the EU Parliament as a conflict of interest to us, the natives, and the indigenous natives of the world for that matter. They get their lands back. We get our lands, they get all their lands back because of that fact that the Queen has corrupted the whole system, corrupted America. And so with that, we take America off her with this flag and boot out all her federal states and everything that's created by the fraud money, US dollar, that screwed everybody with it, including the Chinese. The Chinese cannot take the land in America that was bought back by using this levy debtor pound note for the Americans to square the debt. Square the debt back to the Crown Corporations. Uh, they've got no Queen seal above the, the, the judge in the courts and also the police. They can't say anything about the Queen. No jurisdiction of our lands because of the fact that they cannot show who they get the authority to rule these lands. No jurisdictions of the court. The court has no jurisdiction over this flag and us, the natives, in contract. This is the contract. There's no contract with us with that court. They're not in contract. The only time they try to put us in contract is to get money out of us. But we're going to get money out of them. That's what I'm saying to my barrister. We're going to settle out of court. Settle out of court between me and Natalie Flower Dew Brown. Nobody else, just her. She's the one that walked in this house and arrested me. Stripped my shirt off. That's another matter. She stole my shirt with King William on it. And the highest authority in the world. That's what she stripped off me. Now that's a major offence under the... 1830 to 1837 Acts can have a hung right there, hung in the court on our land. We can do what we like on our land with this flag if they only saw what mistakes they made are the consequence of what we do in taking the land back. Now, no jurisdiction, no court seal in, from Westminster. There's no authority coming from Westminster, it's coming from somewhere else, through America, through the back door, and back through John Key into this country. And his TPPA is whizzing around the Pacific Islands. They'll get the bill. The whole lot of them will get the bill, including all the ministers in the government, right back past Sir Geoffrey Palmer, 86, right back. Right back to the beginning. All decent. Right through. You're going to have to pay this way. That's what I'm telling the British government and military because those are our partners. They are still our partners. They'll need us now. You British people watching this video, you'll need us now in this flag to save yourself and save your soul and Americans. Everyone that's come under the Admiralty Law of Contract, you'll need this flag because it's the king of contracts. Okay? And, um, John Key, U.S. Navy's visit in November. See, that hasn't got the consent from the chiefs here. They're just running roughshod as if they own the place when they really don't. They're only borrowing it for the meantime in their documents. Um, 
the chiefs have not given consent to sign the TPPA agreement contract. That's a contract. It has nothing to do with our contract. It's alien to this contract with Britain. Okay? So British people watching this video, we have a bone to pick with the colonial governments and the United States of America violating our law, British land laws of England. No TPPA contract. See? So that's just a few of the things, issues I have with them to make it quite plain and simple terms of what I'm going to be talking with the barrister to wrap up the police side of tampering with our information on land titles and transactions, mortgage documents. This is a mortgage flag, land document um, jurisdiction over any piece of land here and that is being hidden as the bank's biggest secret is this flag inside their flag. And so Jerry Matuparai, Andrews, and John Key, and the Queen have got a problem now with this team flag bearing down on them in Westminster. I'm going to Westminster as an um, ambassador for New Zealand in the meantime to represent our native hapu, not the iwi. Jerry Matapurai Andrews is there for the iwi. He's a really an Edwards. Matapurai uh, Andrews. He's really an Andrews surname, not a Matapurai real bloodline. You see how they have fashioned themselves in the Maori world to make it look like it looks real. It's not real, people. The Maori, that's why you've been screwed. Your people have been screwed with Maori land titles and everything like that and preferences for Maori when really it's the Moai that is the original native that's been quietened down while the iwi made out that they are the real natives when they're not. They're really Pahias operating scam business. Okay, so that's what I wanted to say in the video. And Kingy's right up to it. Being a military man himself, he's obligated as a military man to adhere to this flag, even though he's King Edward flag. This is a King William Bank mortgage land commercial flag. He has the flag of King Edward and King Victoria, Queen Victoria Trust, the actual stack of money that's come out of King William's coffers and his um, ex of Westminster Parliament 1830 to 1837. You see our flag, the 1835 flag, sits right in the middle of the 1830-1837 acts of mortgage documents, acts of the pound note, X of the Bank of England and X of self-dependence, um, self-governing, uh, independence. It's an independence flag. It's a sovereignty flag of our own. And he has endorsed us as being partner to him. So we have all those privileges of a bank to operate the Levy Debtors Pound Note. That's what I'm telling um, uh, my barrister, Shannon Withers, that I'm not interested in the judge making compensation for any losses. We haven't lost anything. It's still there. We haven't lost anything. All I want is the land back. Every land back piece on that land block and he can keep his money because it's not worth it. We've got our own pound note which will get it out of anybody who has created fraud. That's a British and our business. That's private. It's not anybody, not anybody's business to know how we're going to recover the debts, salvage the debts by contract of this flag. We will put the flag contract out to recover the debts. Amex Limited debt collectors in London is going to do that job with the British military we pay with the pound note. Okay? That's not going to be a problem as levy debtors to raise any finance we have for the project we have, Kingy. Uh, so it's all stacked up on these lands. So beware anyone who's uh, been supporting John Key and the fraud. You're 
uh, attached uh, to him and the corporate crown, um, crown corporations, businesses, are now liable by person, by natural person or by legal person. So they have used, this is the court I'm talking about, and the police have used legal names that's fictitious, could be anything, could mean anything. They buy and sell companies that are not there. They use capital letter names as companies that hide their business as trustees inside it. That's why I'm investigating Te Tumutumu Tai Pai Roa, the, the Maori Trust. The Maori Trustees Office changed its name. It's still the same beast selling these lands, these Maori lands off, when it's actually Moai lands. We go to court to prove whose land it is, and they won't be seen for dust. That's what's going to happen with the land blocks, because a lot of people, even Pākehā and other people, are not happy with the system, rating it off to the elite people and a certain bunch of Maori um, iwi authorities that are creaming it off, and they're going to get caught out as well. They'll lose everything. Everybody that's creating fraud, and as Trey Gowdy in uh, Congress, Congressman, uh, has pointed out that um, uh, Federal Chief um, Director uh, James Comey is caught out with Hillary Clinton in defrauding the people of America, and for the world for that matter, in the federal state government system of abusing this Admiralty law. So that, that's, that's really what I wanted to do here. There's many bits to the puzzle, but I want to try and make it simple so that you can follow a case with me from land to court, from court to Britain, from Britain into Westminster and to the High Court of Admiralty in London online. And you'll find that these videos and Facebook is being used more more so now in Supreme Courts, High Courts and District Courts because it identifies what you say as being for your benefit or for against you. So if you get it wrong, that's what I say, don't muck around with any of these information that we have online because if you're found to be using this way or its documents that are put together, they are unique because they've got capital letters mixed up with small lowercase. I noticed that a lot of people online are mixing up the capitals to shout loud as well. They've got the bug now, so they're all using to confuse the crooks. And they, they don't like you using capitals. And even Word, the, the Word 10 um, program on online tries to make you don't use capitals. And I just go around and make them all capitals, and it puts them off. It really puts them off, and there's nothing they can do about it because all I'm doing is making them confused. The high, high up people, then um, it's going against them. People are catching on the fraud when you start doing things like that. And I say to uh, uh, Kingy, I'll give you a call later or tomorrow and just touch base with you that after Cook Street, I will be having the meeting down in uh, Te Hora Marae, hopefully, and Dick uh, Klaus Carlson gets back to me and lets me know if we have the Marae or not, and otherwise it's going to be on the beach, the Hui, and not on the Marae, it'll be somewhere there on the land, maybe on the land itself, um, and put the tent up. Um, so uh, that's the one place we can have it. Uh, I'll just take my big tent down and stack it up on the land and they can just park on the side of the road and come in there if we can't get the marae. But I need the, the, the chiefs uh, to take a hold of these titles because there's no way anyone, anyone who thinks about trying to take John Key on, you'll come unstuck with the US federal martial law. They'll put the martial law on you through John Key, through the Navy, when it gets here in November. That's I'm predicting that's what's going to happen if no one wakes up to that. And people are still closed-minded about what I'm doing. 
it takes a lot to figure out that a mechanic should know how to fix something that's about to be broken up in bits and salvage all the broken bits and make a new one. <coughs> so that's uh, what I'm saying um, is Kingy. I will have the meeting there. Then the next meeting after that is in the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. And I will arrange that uh, with the, the, the Marae Committee and yourself uh, to put the flag up before the 28th of October. Put the flag up because there's no way um, that the courts here are going to get past this authority now that we've got this far with it. Uh, you, Kingi, in, in particular, are the kingpin behind Marais in this country will follow suit as the highest court in the world with this flag flying right now in this period of time of complete collapse of the economy collapse of the banks, collapse of the fraud, collapse of the churches, collapse of everything that's being rigged up and run by churches. The evil devil is inside the church. Nothing wrong with the church, it's the evil people running it and running parliaments and <coughs> private businesses. It's a private business flag. It's for, it's for private contracts. This is where they're getting all their private contracts authority from, this flag. We can shut them down quite easily with legislative acts we can use on them in the Auckland District Court. We're going to go in there as King's Bench Court. We're, we're supposed, they're supposed to have the King's Bench Court judge in there. One of us natives supposed to be in there. They took it out, legislated it out. We just legislated it in on Waitangi Morai. We've already done that. All that hui we had last, uh, or this year, on the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th of February, Waitangi Day, we went through all of that um, on the Marae to legislate all these acts of Parliament and the Upper House. You'll see all those on my website. We did all that in preparation for the Waitangi Marae on the other side. Then we went into the Waitangi Marae and did it. A lot of sceptical people just laughed and scoffed at it. Well, to their surprise, we actually could not be stopped doing it because we have the right to do that on that land. That's King's land. He can do what he likes with it. He can sack them off it. In fact, he's terminating their lease on the property. That's all they are, leases. The same as what I'm doing, leasing our own land, our own ancestral land. I'm leasing our own ancestors' lands. Would you believe that's what's happened? And every other piece of land in this country is no different. It's leased land as well to the British and to the native. We just have to identify who's the real native and who's the plastic one. That's what we're going to do with Moai. And you just have to front up and Put your name there, stand up and say for your own surname. Don't borrow anybody's surname. That's out. You can't go and use another ancestor and say, oh, I'm that one. No, you're not. Only that person's surname can speak for that ancestor. If your name is not originally native, you can't speak. You can't speak. Really. But... We have, um, um, we have <coughs> uh, certain um, rules that allow for someone who has knowledge to do that, if we consent to it, if we know the history of that person. That's the only way you're going to get through it with a different name, is the original people, otherwise you're jumping you jump in the gun, like you were there first, like you going to Japan and saying, I'm coming here to take that land. That's what it, that's what it is, really. You're not native, real native, first here. In native, meaning the native that got his carvings and memorials on the land before the British came here and the Europeans 
and Spanish and everybody else that came here with their memorials. There were more, more memorials already here. And that's what I'm saying about our own titles that the king recognized. That's what, I, that's what the crunch comes down to in the end. I'm talking to my barrister. Who's who? Show me your title. That's why I say, show me your title. If you haven't got it, off you go. Because they just ignore our own rights to these lands and keeping it within our control. Okay? So that's really all I can say for now uh, as to get on with it because I'm going to work on putting um, things together uh, in order. Uh, now that my barrister's got some more documents from me on the, the land block at Hiringa, A12 block, he's going to go over it because I want him to come with me to Britain and to travel with me uh, to do the law side on that side, on the Queen's side, and to transition inside the court to the King's Bench Court here in Britain because the Britain needs a king in there too. We've got a king. King Ernest Augustus is the inheritor of what I'm talking about, this, this land. King Ernest Augustus is really the king of Britain, UK. You cannot go above that. That's him. He, he inherits it by right of the king's bloodline, right back. Okay, right back to King William III and King William IV and King Ernest Augustus I. Okay, so he's in the right place to take over England and run it better than ever before with us, the Moai here, as his partner in business. We take him around in England, around the world, on this flag. They can't really do that at the moment. They can't really go around the world without a king's authority. Right? So we are claiming the right to this flag of anyone else because no one can show us who's using it. They're hiding, that's what we're going to rake out. Because they don't disclose to us who's using this title for their authority, they have to tell us who, they, who they get their Admiralty Bank Mortgage Loans Authority from. Which Admiralty? That's what I want to find out with the barrister. Whose authority gives them the right to have money, okay, and sell our lands from whose king's authority. The queen is no good because she's not worth trusting and she's gone. Bandon ship, the same with Cameron, he's gone. You see, the crooked people will fall over, one by one, fall over. Then we'll go after them and rake everything off them. You're going to lose everything as a consequence of violating or ignoring us. That's the price you pay here, John Key. It's coming. You can't hide your property. You can't hide anything. You can't be immune from the king because he'll overrule everything right through the world, including America. The queen will be seized of title back to the king's bench court under the British military when we get this sorted out on Cook Street. Okay, so that's all uh, for this video. I'll get on with it. And I'll make another video after for Shannon. As soon as I get something together to send to him a bit more. So that there's less to talk about when we go to court, it's all over. Okay, so basically it's like this. I get a counterclaim against Natalie Flower Dew Brown. If you're watching this video, uh, Shannon. That's what I want to do. I want you to get me a counterclaim through to the judge against Natty, Natalie Flower Dew Brown as being fraudulent of her documents to arrest me and against uh, Tim Duffy for arresting me as for trespass against the landowners and I want the same um, order uh, of seizing the property the same they're, they're 
they are linked in the same fraud. They have committed each other and liabled each other in the same fraud land transaction. So the police poked their nose in to something of a private defaulted contract between me and those landowners. It's my business to tell them, show me your title. I want to know where your title. The lawyers, the conveyancing lawyers, should have put the asset on me to tell me to stop doing what I'm doing. And that would have hit the fireworks right there. But they failed to answer my affidavits and letters. Their conveyancing lawyers did nothing. They just zipped up and stayed silent. The police zipped up and stayed silent until I got this disclosure letter here from the police. Yeah. Um, there. Auckland City DHQ. Okay. So this is the non. This is the disclosure that they gave me. Criminal Investigation Branch of the Auckland City DHQ, Auckland Central Police. So, um, Detective Sergeant John De Beer, De Beer, sent me this. So he's acting as another person, um, as a natural person. You see, they're changing codes all the time. And I'm going to catch them out changing codes into commercial code and then back into common law code and then back into UCC code that's not there. The Pope destroyed it, you see. So they're going to get caught out on changing codes and using law documents that have no authority from the Bar Association. So they're in trouble as far as I'm concerned with uh, my barrister. He's, he's proficient in federal law, being in America uh, for a few years and in uh, Greece, in Europe, um, where he's done most of his training and now he's back here and should have a fair handle on that side of the law as much as I do. I know what he's doing. I'm learning myself on what they say and do. I'm watching what the judge utters in front of me. I'm listening to the other uh, sovereign people in courts trying to talk for themselves, having difficulty being heard by the judge, saying, not in my court. So it's very frustrating for them. I wouldn't do it myself because I know the judge owns his court, but we own the land underneath it. You just take the land away, and he's got nothing. That's how we do it. And that's what we're going to do with the banks. Uh, so this is, um, when you read this, you'll see, you split it up. You split it like a mechanic. Pull it all the bits, all the bolts and nuts of this letter, and then you'll see the fraud in certain parts of it. And that's what I do with it. I pull it to bits in front of my barrister and I tell him, that's the problem. Here's the problem, here's the problem, here's the problem. I says, whose jurisdiction gave them the right to use that on me? A uh, person of my authority. You see? Uh, forget the real natives. They think the Iwis are the landowners. No, they're not. The trustees are not really the landowners. They're just being put there by the Crown Corporations because they look like a Maori or they sound like one. A lot of them can talk Maori but they don't have the knowledge of land titles and banks, brokering. They don't have that experience far-fetched uh, from their vocabulary. Okay, so um, Shannon, I want you to get a rep to seize the land. I want the land, the chiefs want the land back. That's it. Chuck them off into prison because they broke the law. They've got the criminal um, criminal acts they broke. The Crimes Act 1961. I've listed them. I'm going to have them for you. Just the ones pertaining to that person's crime. 
there's plenty of crime that happened within that land block. And the police is just part of the scam going on in there under this Panama tax havens debacle and corruption of the law here. There's abuse happening against this flag's authority and us, the native chiefs. Okay? Don't ignore us because it's going to cost you. If you ignore us or if you get no satisfaction for my chiefs, I've got to go back to Waitangi. I've heard people report back to the Congress assembled on the 28th of October 2016 that has become 181 years for this flag on those treaty grounds raised up and 182 years for Kororareka when the flag was first ordained or given to us there um, in the Bay of Islands um, um, on that land um, at Russell. Okay, so I have Moira Russell Hoffman. She's a great descendant from those ancestors, the Russells of Russell. So that fits into this whole scheme of things with her being live and my best friend and that part of this flag's history straight to Britain. I'm talking about England as being English people there and on the Port Awanui village township, Port Awanui township is an English village. It's British, uh, particularly British that I'm interested in rebuilding and restoring that village back to Britain straight there. So it's being fashioned at the moment with these land titles I'm doing online to give you a idea what should have happened, what should have happened back then all these years that have gone past, 182 years, something should have happened to better our lifestyle when we're still the poorest. I haven't even got any shares from any piece of land for many years, it's 30 land blocks to be honest that have got nothing much out of the cows got it and the people running the cows and the government picking up the, the spoils of trees and everything taken off the land and the sea for that matter. So we're going there to set this block of land up on the Heringer A12 block to make the shares work for us and show you just how easy it is to manage. Even a mechanic can manage it after you finish having a lesson with me. Okay, so Shannon, first of all, I want the rip, I want the case dropped from Natalie and lock her up for fraud and corrupting the law and our own native titles and me, the chiefs up in Waitangi. She's offended us personally by stripping me in my room and I'm with King Itaurua disgusted with the police for doing that to us. Although we had a policeman at the um, opening of our business in the Waitangi Marae uh, on the 15th of March 2016 this year, he was there. He shocked after hearing what I'm saying about the Marae being a business of John Keats using this flag and um, that's how this country runs from this authority inside that marae where they're doing their shoddy business shady business okay so we are seizing that business off them back into the hapu's hands there so this is no offense to any other the tribes watching what i do because at the end of the day it's either their land or ours. The people of New Zealand's land and the natives, or it's John Key and his elite people. One or the other. This one, the land people, and the other flag, the, the flag he was going to ditch and throw away and put his own flag, the um, war flag of the veteran flag that, that 
he's using, usurping, and his government and him or and his elite TPPA people or this king safety in numbers. Okay? So Shannon, I'll make a video after just particular things without all the rest of it. And I want you to um, um, get the writ and come with me to seize the land. Come with me to seize the land and we will go and finish off my job of our warrant to seize the property under this flag system of British law. British law supersedes John Key's alien law in Wellington. But they can run their law and their business as debtors. We're not going to change anything, Shannon. All we're doing is making people accountable for breaking our law, native law, and British partnership law of the land. Okay? So just bear in mind that this is nothing to do with anybody but contracting businesses happening on these lands. John Key's got all these contractors working for him in his tax system and we have our, our business starting in that Marae straight to Britain and we pay their tax to Britain right with the pound note we get the people and Britain gets the tab for fixing it up we write out the pound note for Britain to recover all the debts they're obligated the military with this flag and kingy is obligated to go and recover salvage seize all debts so that's how that's going to work but in the meantime we just want the land returned on that block because of ongoing fraud right back to 2008 when i first started off with mohi manikara chief and the other chiefs who wanted their land back okay no one was listening in john key's government they will now because it's falling apart in the EU, where they've all gone and holed up, all the fraud people have separated themselves from Britain and left only England and Wales and us together in contract. Contract, contract makes law, law makes the contracts happen in this land and right through the world. This is not just here, this is a global flag of jurisdiction and constitution 1835 and authority, sovereignty and monarch. We are monarch, native to these lands and King William's monarch with his ancestor, descendant uh, Ernest Augustus V. Okay, so Shannon, one more time. Counterclaim, one, against Natalie Flower Du Brown to wipe her case out against me. That's the trespass order and the um, um, forced entry into Cook Street. Those two cases, I want you to drop them and go back to the judge and tell them, clear those cases from me and return my land, my chiefs, hapu. That's what I want you to do. That's it. That's as simple as it gets. Forget about the judge making compensation because I've got a I've got a bone to pick with his bond on my name, mirror image of my name that's offended me and every bow by the house, my chiefs are offended by the same scenario of their names to extract money out of them in a trust that's blindfolded, as blindfolded as John Key's blind trusts. They're all blind as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so you'll have to interpret what I'm saying, Shannon, to the Judge Collins. Judge Collins is good in a way that he's just following what those documents say. You see, he knows it's wrong, but he, he's very much in it as well. And your company, Vulcan Chambers, is being paid by that trust with that name John One O and Capitals. I want to find that inheritance because it belongs to me. 
anything with my name on it. If there's a John one over there, I want to see him. I want to meet him to see if he's Pākehā or native Moai. If he's a Moai native, he shouldn't be in there. But I want you to show me who he is. And I want him in front of the judge. If he can't, then I'm afraid it was a hoax. And I want all that money recovered to me. Forthwith. Okay, that's what I want you to do. And I want to find who set it up. Natalie Flower Dew Brown put the documents together to make me, blackmail me, into signing the bond so that I can be released from prison. There are many people in the world in the same boat as I am that have been duped by the Queen and the use of Admiralty Law abuse of mortgage, lens and bank loans and law of the sea over the citizen, the people on the land who own the land and its resources. Now that's what I want to clear it up, uh, Shannon. So you have to be upstanding and stay on with me with the King's Bench side of the court over from the Queen's Bench side of the court working alongside each other in Britain and here and you'll be well placed with me and my chiefs here and all the indigenous people of the world for that matter because I'm representing them I'm speaking up for all the indigenous origins in Australia and Africa, India, America, Canada uh, and in the islands and right through the Commonwealth countries and other countries outside the Commonwealth including America um, including them under this in 250 countries of the world. Shannon, I've made those statements quite clear on my Facebook sites. You'll see that the courts are using it uh, now as evidence in any court so that you can pick off anything I'm saying online and my videos as evidence to whoever I'm accusing to come up with an affidavit or something to counterclaim it. If they can't, I'm afraid they lose the case and it's written off. That's what I want you to do with um, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree. I want you to tell the judge they cannot answer because it's over. The time has passed and they have not, with three affidavits, three different notices, have failed to reply thinking I'm just a walkover and don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm versed in land and mortgage documents as my profession in my day uh, to know what I'm doing about finance and land for that matter. These are native lands which belong to us. I have to be there to speak for the land and no one else can measure up to that status at this time, uh, Shannon. And I know that you're have difficulty in relating to all matters that um, outside your scope other than conveyancing instruments uh, where it comes to the native side of who's who and who belongs to the land on that particular land is not the iwi as you'll see. The names tell the story, the name, the surname tell the story that if it's not looking like a Monaco in Auckland, you can forget it. Because those titles were a Scottish land company called the Monaco Land Company that put all these titles together. Okay, so there's nobody that's got a Monaco title except what I have here. And that goes through the whole country. Okay, so that's what I'm saying about the Monaco family and the Wano family and the Rogan family and the Cosgrove family. They are all tied to Britain on these titles and I'm here to speak for them because they cannot do this job and know what they're talking about when it comes to these titles of origins. They go back to 1830. Manukau titles go back to 1830 and that's far back than 1840. It's a difference of 10 years of title. With the birth certificate, 1830, you'll see it on my site, 1830 birth certificate, that's it. It says I was here. I didn't see you. That's all. That's it for Auckland titles. And no one can do that. 
because the Pakis only gave, the Rogans only gave the Manukau's that title. They gave the one was that title and the Manukau's that title. And the Maai Satu writes them all off because he goes further back from that. Okay, the 300 AD. So that wipes all that lot out of native titles from Britain because it's standing in London. The Maui statue is standing in London and they put a date on it. It's 300 AD. It goes further back than that, but 300 is good enough because it's further back than 1835. Okay, so that's our native title, the Maui statue, as being indigenous to the Pacific Islands and native Maui people. I'm saying Maui because Maui is quite different to Maori. Maori is a mixture of different cultures and different bloods. The Maui is straight native surname title. The original king of uh, Britain is always male dominant bloodlines. All the way through Salic law prohibits women from succeeding to the throne. Okay, that's, that's the Salic law with King Ernest Augustus, uh, King of Britain, UK, defaults back to him from the Queen. That's why I have to go there and nominate him in as the King from me, his partner in business. Okay? We've got this flag, it'll take Britain around the world straight off. It'll take America around the world straight off without no problem. Clean slate, mortgage free, in its own pound note. Fairness, peace and harmony. Okay, so that's all for now and uh, we'll catch you later, being Sunday today, um, and I'll catch up with you shortly, uh, Shannon, and make a video just for you on instructions, what to do, save me talking and forgetting what I want to say to you, so that there's no, no way of changing what I say because the whole world is watching you and me online. And I make no bones about it that Everything I say on videos is nothing but the truth, so help me God, it's the truth. What I say, it's up to you to um, challenge or rebut, refute. If not, it's the law. Okay, thank you very much. See you later. John Wanar, Auckland, Oderu, New Zealand. Bye.